Hey guys, welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. Uh, I picked the wrong la locker last time because apparently switching is more... Uh, I stayed with my choice last time and that failed, so I'm going to go with number 10 now. Because that switches it. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Looks like a car. No! Ugh. You're How are you supposed to get that? How, how are you... No, I'm not saving that. Hold on, I gotta go research the Monty Hall problem really fast. <laughs> So I have a 1 in 2 chance, but I actually have a lower chance than that, according to Akane. So what I should do is switch. <gasps> oh my god, I finally found the Bane Mask. Oh uh, yeah, we did it. Yeah. But, oh, you gotta be joking. No. One? Are you telling me there's only one? Just switch it around, you guys. It never said that there would be three. Whoa, whoa, why is it? Oh, okay, that was weird. No. Give it to Akane first, man. She's the one suffering the most oh, at the moment. No. But it'll all be all right. We'll just, we'll just rotate the mask between the three of us. Yeah, Junke. What? Why? Why? The door doesn't open for twenty minutes. The pump only has enough oxygen for one. Damn it! Why? What the hell? Why is C Team God. being punished? What the hell? <sighs> oh no! Who do I save? Wait, whoa. Hey, Carlos. I have a favor to ask. We're only going to save Akane, I aren't know. we? I haven't been a firefighter for ten years. <laughs> to make the wrong choice now. We're saving Akane. I knew it. Glad I got to hear your voice one last time. <laughs> it brings back that time at the festival. Remember, we went together. We found this weird character mask and thought too. You tried to make me wear one. Oh, that's right. You were wearing a. You got it then. You said it had been your mom's before she died. That's why it was so big on you. I want to go to that festival again. No, no. Hurry, put the mask on. No. We made a decision, Akane. <gasps> Part of me wants to go back and hear that in Japanese, because that did, ha that did not have any emotion at all, in my opinion. Another bad end. What? Is it? Oh, there's only bad ends. 
Has there been an ending for Sea King that hasn't ended up with every one of them dying? Let me see really fast. Let's see. Bad end, bad end. Bad end, bad end. Or oh, wait, possible bad end. Uh, execution. This one. This one they haven't really, you know, gotten to because they haven't unlocked. And then this one that we have yet to be determined to. Hey, wait a minute. I finished this one. Okay. Uh, but anyways, now that I did that, apparently a Q team one unlocked. Let me just double check. So, I was suggested to do the the lower right portion of of Q team, which I do want to do. But then I look at this one over here and see zero, and I can't just avoid that. You can't just avoid the main antagonist of the game. So, I'm going to go here. What's this one called? Reality. Also, apparently this game is the most uh, philosophical one out of them all. Huh? Why am I the only one here? Hey, Mira? Uh, Eric? Well, wait, what? Okay, so... They're all dead. Well, what? So Eric's dead and Diana's missing. Wait, she escaped? What? When did Mira get out? The decision game has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. What? What is... Why are seven people... D no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Q, calm down. It'll be okay, dude. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh. He didn't die from that? He didn't die from that. What was all that? I think. Why did I see C team and D team? I don't understand what's and going anyway. on. Why am I even alive right now? I remember being stabbed by a scalpel. Wait, Zero? Do you truly wish to go? You're talking to us live. Zero. I suggest you come to the quantum computer now. Everything will be explained there. Quantum computer dome? Yes. This is exactly what it just said. I feel like I've jumped ahead, but you know what? I wanted to pick this one. You, you can't ignore the main antagonist of the game. You just can't. Hello, Zero. You. You detest me, I suppose. No, shit, you Snape. You're welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I. I. I want to know the truth. Gab was the true villain. That little traitor. What? 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 Huh? What? One, two. What is this? What? Your spare bodies. My spare. What? They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. What the fuck? Whoa. 
in the hole. What? Then, then I'm... Precisely. You are not human. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. What? And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Then me not having any memories. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm, and it feels like it has a presence. Q is a computer? I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. Who was he? He was called Chong. <gasps> the same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? That's his name? Correct. Sean? He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then I'm just a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension, and they may be thinking of them. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. I feel like I made a mistake in picking this one. <laughs> then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? He has enough of those. I... He wanted a son. I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. What? Hey, wait! Zero? We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. What's going on, Zero? Play the game. The decision game. Why? The game's already over. Mira that escaped. Is in regards to the others, you are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer there retains all of the data that makes you uniquely you. Yes. Memory, personality, how you feel. If I press the button, do it, does it erase all, all that? The algorithms that determine your actions does it erase all of my stuff in there? If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. Oh. It is there. That a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. Wait. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that 
is strictly within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. One of you will be in the virtual space, what? while the other remains in reality. This. Then, what happens if mm. I don't want to press it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted. What? There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? You and everything that makes you you will be destroyed, essentially. Is what I'm getting from that. Your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. How do I just push you? You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What if I push you off? What will you decide? You'd die then, wouldn't you? You have ten seconds. Oh, fuck you. Ten seconds. And your future will be forever altered. I... I... Oh, um... I'm gonna press the button. Like, what else can I do? He dies otherwise. He's already cheated death once. Might as well do it again. Beginning transfer of program. Sean seven two nine to virtual space. Sean seven two nine. So what happens now? What? <gasps> I can see what happens? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. God, Sean, you're awake. Where am I? W what am? Your surgery was a success. Nice. Your illness is completely gone now. Wonderful. Mom, I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad, what's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you all right? Where's my brother? Oh, uh. I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah, we gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Do I have a brother? I think I have a brother. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready! Make sure to eat up. No. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Yay. Hey, now, don't think that's it. That's it. Oh, my gosh. The game system I always wanted. And all the books I've ever wanted to read. You fought really hard against your illness. So you deserve a reward. Dad, An Mom, eternal thank reward. you so much. 
Okay, so apparently I don't have a brother. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the Is it bad that I prefer him Oscar? with the helmet on? Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time. And every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. But only in a simulation. But what happened to your real self? What happened to yourself in the real world? Happy end? Interesting. Well, let's go see what happened um, on the flip side. Oh, this is reality now. Uh, Zero? Why is it that I'm still on this side? You're duplicated. In that virtual space? I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? It would have been you either way. I have an old story to tell you. What? A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. So books were his only friends. What? The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, his disease wasn't cured. Life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. All because Giving of a snail. His life did not mean gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally... W what are you talking about? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. Traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are you saying? Be sure you remember that number. A time will come when it will be handy. I wrote it down just to be safe, but... What? No way! What? <sighs> the helmet came off. Whoa, ha, ho.
there will be a time when it will come in handy. And I'm headless. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at that. But oh my god. That was awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and not press the button in that. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Oh my god. I'm not pressing the button. I'm gonna die a complete death. Oh, buddy. Fine. I just want you to end it. That's sad. I see. Then, farewell. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Deletion complete. Oh, Gab. You really are the true villain. I've said it all along since the beginning. Yeah, I kind of figured. Alright. I did it. Alright, so to end this out, I'm going to go ahead and look at, uh... <gasps> Wait, no. There's something I need to do before this episode ends. Before I end this episode. I know his name now. Nope, not Sean P. Wait, Sean... 7, 2... Wait, I can't put 7, 2, 9? What? Are you kidding me? Anyways, guys, um, that happened. We learned the mysteries of Q. That's a thing. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. And I'll see you all of you in the next one. Goodbye.